The Jake Asman Show will begin shortly. Thanks to all these great Patreon members who help support the show. Get your super chats ready. Jake will be here in just a moment. If you love the New York Jets, this is the place to be. And now, the Jake Asman Show. He's back. The Jets have re-signed safety Ashton Davis, and I love it. We'll talk about what the move means for the Jets going forward. It's the Jake Asman Show, so let's hit it and get it started. Man, our Jets are primed for a historic season. We bleed Jets green each and every day. This is not the same old Jets. We have Garrett Wilson. Let's go. We have Brees Hall. Please subscribe and hit the like button below. Super Jet, baby. Cut the line. We have Sauce Gardner. We have Quinn and Williams. The Jet bandwagon is loaded. Now it's time to talk all things New York Jets. It's the Jake Asman Show. Here we go, Jet fans. Right after we got off the air with our first show on the day, in typical Jake Asman life fashion, the Jets make a move. Ashton Davis has been re-signed. We don't have the details of the contract just yet. Typically, when this happens, it means the agent doesn't want the details getting out there because it's probably not for a whole lot of money. My guess is it's at the most a two-year deal where there's probably an out after one if it's two years. I think Ashton Davis was disappointed with his market. I think he thought after the year he just had with the Jets in a contract year, some team would give him an opportunity to be a you know clear starter, and that obviously did not happen. So he comes back to the Jets, and this shouldn't be a big surprise because we know the Jets wanted him back, but they wanted him back very specifically at their price. If you heard Robert Sala last week in the interview we played on this show that he did with Eric Allen at Jets.com, Salah basically was begging for Ashton Davis to come back to the Jets. And obviously, he didn't have all these offers elsewhere to start. So why not come back to a team, probably on a one-year deal, that knows how to use you, knows how to put you in a spot where you'll be successful. You'll play in primetime games this year where the NFL can watch you up close. You have opportunities to make plays with the Jets offense not being historically bad this upcoming season. So we know the Jets wanted him back, and this coaching staff, has done a really nice job of deploying Ashton Davis and developing him. Ashton Davis was an afterthought a couple seasons ago. Now he's the only guy from the 2020 draft class that probably is going to end up getting a second contract with the Jets. Mims, long gone. Becton, gone. James Morgan, gone. I mean, everyone from that draft class, Brayden Mann, gone. It was a terrible draft class. Ashton Davis is the only guy who has a third-round pick is a somewhat respectable player, and he's now veteran depth. Maybe he still could get better and be a starter, but he's not, you know, the guy you're writing home about. The best player from that draft class was an undrafted free agent in Bryce Huff, and he's gone. So it's not a surprise the Jets wanted Ashton Davis back. I think Ashton Davis is surprised that he didn't have a whole lot of other offers. But this was Robert Sala last week being asked about Ashton Davis. Traditionally, we keep four. And, uh, you know, we, we love Ashton. I know he's out there. I know they're, um, I know he's looking. But if he watches this video, we love you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are a week later, and Ashton Davis is back on the Jets. So, not a big surprise. And look, I'll say this about Ashton Davis. Guy is a ball magnet. There's something to be said for a guy who can contribute on special teams, had six takeaways last season and only 217 defensive snaps, three interceptions, three forced fumble recoveries, three tackles for a loss, ace pa uh, eight, eight pass breakups, team high, 12 special teams tackles, and that's why I think it's big to get him back from a special team standpoint because you, know, you talk about the Jets' situation going forward, Justin Hardy's gone. You couldn't bring him back. You think that you have a guy in Isaiah Oliver who could probably replace Hardy, but you also have Herb Charles. But there's some unknown there. 
Ashton Davis is a good special teams player. Brant Boyer, I know for a fact, loves Ashton Davis. Not to mention, for those who remember, Ashton Davis in the big win over the Cleveland Browns two seasons ago in the Joe Flacco comeback game. Ashton Davis recovered the onside kick in that game. And on defense, he had the interception against Jacoby Brissett that put the game away. And one of the greatest regular season jet wins in the history of the franchise that day. So Ashton Davis, the last couple of years, has gotten better. And to bring him back on a probably a one-year deal, two-year at the most for minimum money, makes a lot of sense. Once again, if you're just tuning in, we don't have the details of the full contract yet. But hit the like button if you're tuned in right now, if you're on board with Ashton Davis being brought back. So now if you look at the Jets safety room after they bring back Ashton Davis, you know Salah says traditionally we keep four. Is Jarek Bernard Converse ready to take a step forward? Or do the Jets draft someone and have that guy compete with Converse for a roster spot? I could see that. I don't think the Jets are going to pay Justin Simmons or Marcus May. Don't even bring up Jamal Adams. I'll laugh in your face. I don't think they're going to sign a big-time veteran safety. And let's be honest, Jamal Adams is a bum. He's not even a big-time safety at this stage of his career. But I think the safety room for the Jets, for the most part, is probably solidified, but I do expect them to add someone in the draft. They don't value that safety position, but they do know how to develop that, that position. Tony Adams, pretty good to me as an undrafted free agent a season ago. And I think Chuck Clark might be the most flying under the radar type move the Jets have made because we didn't see it last year. But I'm telling you, from people I know that covered him in Baltimore, this guy is a Swiss Army knife, kind of like Ashton Davis, a better Ashton Davis. Could play in the box, could play in the slot, could play free safety, could play strong safety. You could use Chuck Clark everywhere. And I would expect the Jets, especially in today's NFL, I would expect the Jets to probably deploy a three-safety look a lot of times like we saw last year. So there'll be opportunities for Ashton Davis to get on the field in a three-safety look. But Ashton Davis is a guy that made plays last year, knows for the ball. Would I still add a, a big-time safety if the price is completely deteriorated and the Jets can get involved in that market? Yeah, I would, but I, I wouldn't count on it. But I, I'm glad he's back. I mean, he's literally the only survivor from that 2020 draft class. And while he's not a great player, he is a solid player, and you need solid players that do the dirty work, the unsung hero type of stuff. But you don't have a whole lot of Jets that get second contracts that are drafted by the organization. Hopefully that changes with Quinn and Williams leading the way. And not too long from now, as you see, I'm wearing my Gardner Wilson 2022 offensive and defensive rookie of the year shirt. Those are the next contracts for drafted Jet players we want to see. Sauce, Garrett, Jermaine, AVT, Breeze. That's the next wave. But I am a... Uh, I'm a fan of bringing Ashton Davis back. I've been talking about this for months. So I think it's an under-the-radar type move, but it's a good move by Joe Douglas. Speaking of good moves, we got brand-new sponsors to discuss. Shout-out to Walmart and shout-out to Fanatics. We are now in their, uh, I, I guess the best way to put it, their content creator program, baby. So they have featured some Jets gear for Asmaniacs to purchase at a discounted rate. I pinned my favorite item in the chat down below. But if you purchase anything from Fanatics or Walmart, you're getting it at a discounted rate. Because the Jets have the new logo coming out, you're noticing a lot of the old stuff on significant discounts. So shout out to Walmart and Fanatics for being a part of the ride here. This is a big time one for me. Any uh, Jet merchandise that you purchase with the links down below supports the show. And obviously you're getting it at a great rate for my fellow Jet fans out there. So shout out to Fanatics. Shout out to Walmart. Appreciate both great companies being a part of the ride here. And it is all down below. You could get some Nike jet ski gear. They got the regular jerseys for the legacy that we know are, are here to stay. Got some kids t-shirts down below. I got Nike green sideline player quarter zips down below. These are some of the featured items here. So check it out. If you're looking for discounted jet gear, Fanatics and Walmart are now part of the Jake Asman show. So check it out. Appreciate them for jumping on board. Comments, questions. Super Chats will cut the line. Shout out to the Asmaniacs out there. If you hit the join button, you could sign up. And I also want to thank all the Patreon subscribers. We gained one right at the end of our show earlier. Our guy, the legendary, all right, Jason Smith, 
Jay Biz. He joined Patreon. Why? Because he came up with the idea that if Hawk gifts 25 memberships in honor of Zach Wilson's 25 interceptions as the Jet quarterback, Hawk will get immunity from being banned until at least the Jet regular season starts. If you did not watch the first show today, go check it out. It was hilarious. Shout out to the Asmaniacs for being part of the ride. All right. Comments, questions, super chats will cut the line. I pinned the Gus Buster hotline link. Let's react to Ashton Davis being brought back. Rat Diddy starts us off. Ashton was the typical overdrafted raw kid who destroyed workouts. Happens every year. At least he's gotten better each year. Look, most Jets draft picks, when they start bad, they stay bad. Give credit to Ashton Davis, who actually has made something of himself in the NFL and with the Jets. You know who deserves credit for that? Tony Oden, the secondary coach. Jeff Ulbrich, the defensive coordinator. And Robert Sala, who's got a knack for developing defensive players. I'm telling you, man, everyone says how bad Sala is. They might have the best defense in the league, and a lot of it is player development by his staff. It's not just the talent. Iconical Ware writes in. I wouldn't say he has a nose for the ball, but he definitely has gotten better. I feel like he's progressed as, progressed as, as a player through this defense. He's gotten better each year in the league. Isn't that what you want? I know that's what I want. The aforementioned Hawk is watching the show. Hawk, you better gift that first five membership by the end of the week. You're on a payment plan. This means more for special teams than it does the DB room. Losing both Hardy and Davis would have been significant. Amen. I think that's why they had to keep one of them. I'm with you, Hawk. All right, to the calls we go. Shout out to everyone tuned in. Smash that like button. Only 42 likes. I know we can do better than that. Dirty. Start us off on the program this afternoon. What's up, Dirty? Uh, too much, man. You, you guys almost saw me again out of the truck. Actually Whoa. sorting the mail this time. But, um, no, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that Ashton is back. Um, honestly, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be, uh, you know, mean – mean with the guy but i don't think that his career will go much farther than the jets i just i don't really see it happening if each year it's going to end up like this but he's a he's fast he can get to the ball he can close in on players um it just took him a while to get to where he is now that's all you know but i'm glad we got him back um what was the i didn't get to see the the numbers on the contract or what it was they're not out yet, which tells me it's probably a one-year deal for five million or less. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if it's even if it's even cheaper than that. Probably you know, could mean, be. I mean, waiting. I mean, there's, there's a lot of other safeties that are still out there. Simmons still out there, I believe. Um, but the fact that I think you would want somebody more comfortable that knows the system, that knows this. You know, you're you're trying to go for a Super Bowl or bust here, so that's. You know, you want somebody that knows the defense, so. Yeah, I, I agree. Look, he's he's a good player at a cost-efficient contract, knows the system. Nothing wrong with it. I'm with you. Good call, Dirty. Slip Kid. Shout out to Slip Kid. Want to know why? Because Slip Kid just took matters into his own hands. He said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to become an Asmaniac. Oh, Comments, questions, super chats. Jake Quest says, if you get Chipotle as a sponsor, I'll give 20 memberships. Uh, that's not up to me, man. Believe me, I'd love a Chipotle sponsorship. No one's more of an ambassador of Chipotle than I am. Yet, I don't have a sponsorship. NYJ today says, great resigning. Welcome back, AD. I, I think it's a really good signing. There's nothing bad about it. I mean, we don't have the contract details yet, but I'm telling you, it's not going to be an enormous deal. No one signs an enormous contract in the NFL on April 11th. I think the fact that you also have him now signed, you feel le you feel less pressure to potentially having to take a safety in the draft. I think you still could, but I don't think you have to do it as early as maybe some think. So I'm on board. Christian says, welcome back, Ashton. Hawk says, Ashton's improved his tackling. He certainly has. Alan says, can I donate on behalf of Hawk? Absolutely not, Alan. Hawk has to pay for his own memberships. You cannot donate on his behalf. The 
VR says LFG Jake doing three a days commitment. Yeah, look, today's going to be a three show day because we had breaking news with Ashton Davis and I'd already done the morning stream and I got Andrew Fialco for the Roma Dunes, a film review coming up at 3 p.m. Eastern today. So we're going to be cooking content up all day. All day. Hit that like button, everybody. Today's show is also presented by my friends at Circa Resort and Casino. We are going to be live for our draft megacast in Las Vegas at Circa Resort and Casino for all three days of the NFL draft. We will have special guests joining us all throughout the megacast during our three days in Vegas. And of course, we will have comprehensive coverage of everything the Jets do in the NFL draft. We will have three straight days of live streaming some of our longest shows we've ever done. It will be our Longest three-day stretch of content in the history of this channel, and it's all possible thanks to my friends at Circa, CircaLasVegas.com. Book your stay. If you're going to Vegas and you're not staying at Circa, Vegas, baby, Vegas! I mean, do you even like fun? If you're a sports fan and you go to Vegas and you don't go to Circa, I question everything about you. I'm sorry. We can still be friends, but I, 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 I'm judging you. They got the best indoor and outdoor sports book in the world. It's the biggest in the country. Uh, it speaks for itself. Ask any Asmaniac who was there in November for Jets Raiders weekend. It's Vegas, baby, and there's no better place than Vegas, Circa. Vegas, baby, Vegas! CircaLasVegas.com. Book your stay this summer or in the fall. Uh, Roger writes in, Jake, sorry to announce the passing of legendary New York running back O.J. Simpson. Hey, Roger, you want to take a stab at writing his obituary? For those who want some OJ stories, I, I spoke to OJ on the phone with my friend Dan about five years ago. I told that story at the end of the first show today. Check that out. Curly says, we have Ashton Davis. That's right. He's back. Rat Diddy says, LFG Jake, pump for Vegas. Hell yeah. Adirondack says, wasn't a fan of Davis at first, but his ball hawking made me a fan. Glad he's back. Let's go. It's a good move, man. I'm curious to see the full contract details, but it's not going to be a ton of money. This guy wanted to go somewhere to get paid and start. That didn't happen. So now you have an opportunity to have a good year, prove last year wasn't a fluke, and maybe get a contract from someone next year. It could be the Jets, by the way. If Ashton Davis proves last year is who he now is as a player, the Jets could keep him. Comments, questions, super chats will cut the line. We've gained one as maniac so far. I'm asking the audience for help. If you want an as maniac emoji to be uploaded, send me some ideas. Image aspect ratio one by one. Email it to me, asmanjake at gmail. A lot of people are in on a Henny emoji. A lot of people seem to want a Bobby Midnight emoji. A lot of people have different ideas for the emojis, and we're due to upload at least two. So let's get some group think going and come up with some ideas. Slip Kid says, didn't he want to move on? Thought I read. Thought I read he wants to stay here. Ashton Davis, I think, wanted to go somewhere that will give him a chance to play. It's why, by the way, Corey Davis, who... You know, the story was he wanted to live, you know, be signed with a team closer to home. He's still out there. Don't be surprised if the Jets re-sign him next. That could be coming too. Big fella says, I'm happy Davis is back, but he isn't a starter in my opinion. He's not a starter. But I I'll tell you what, he could be by the end of the year. I mean, Tony Adams and Chuck Clark. With Ashton Davis, a solid safety room because I think Tony, I I think Chuck Clark's underrated by Jeff fans. Ladies and gentlemen, Chef Nico's in the house. Shout out to Chef Nico. I I'm walking towards the, uh, you know, the uh, Yankee clubhouse on opening day last Friday, and Chef Nico in his full on Yankee Legends attire, chef gear, stopped me and said hello. And super super nice guy, huge Jet fan. Shout out to Chef Nico. We'll get him out at L5 this year, cooking it up for everybody at our tailgate parties. Sneakers to Boots writes in, Ashton has been a good development, 
development piece and much needed on special teams with Hardy gone. He's been a really solid pro. Yeah, I agree with that. And with Hardy gone, I think Ashton Davis's importance goes up. Chef Nico says it best here. Davis is great depth in special teams. And special teams is now more important than it was previously with the new rules. Slip Kid says, I feel good about the Jets this season, dot, dot, dot. Again, hope the floor don't drop out as quickly as last season. Ha! Yeah, I mean, look. It's always the darkest before dawn, right? Isn't that what they say? Holy crap, everybody. Look what just happened. Five memberships were just gifted. Sound the alarms. <laughs> <laughs> Will Katana 27 writes in with five gifted memberships for a Hank G other things Michael Berkeley let's get weird and Alex thank your lord and savior Will Katana 27 unreal unreal man Steven says does this leave offensive tackle slash swing wide receiver three RB2 let the fill in the draft I think it's a combo of draft and after the draft. I think swing is potentially filled with the first round pick if we're going to call it that. But I think it's when it's the Jets, it's way more than a swing tackle when it comes to O-linemen. RB2, I could see in the draft or a veteran post-draft that they don't draft someone. Receiver three, I could once again see a veteran or if they take a lineman in the first round, pick 72, I think will be receiver in that case. So things change quick, as we know. Young Costa says, are we getting a Stu Tasman stream during Texans versus Jets this year? Absolutely. In fact, Young Costa, I told the Cody Stute OJ Simpson story when I pranked him into OJ doing our radio show promoting kitchen knives. I told that at the end of my first show today. So if you want a great me absolutely punking Cody Stute story, check out the end of the first uh, stream today. Shout out to all the Houston listeners. Appreciate you. Roger says, Jake, today is my day. The algorithm is going to gift me an Asmaniac membership. I hope so. Make sure you have gift receipts turned on. The big fellow writes in, 45 minutes. It was wild. Great show. That was one of the funnest shows that we've ever done. That's not a word. Is that a word? Funnest? I don't know. I, I talk for a living, but I don't know, I don't know English. Uh, that, that was a blast, man. Great show yesterday. And big fellow, you were a big part of it. Everyone just trying to like one up each other, gift in memberships to Asmadiacs was hilarious. Chef Nico says this may be the best Jets team on paper before the start of a season ever. It should be. I mean, this team, 98, 2010, come to mind. I would say the Super Bowl team, but I'll have to take your word for that one. I didn't watch it. This should be one of the best Jets teams we've seen. Andrew says, what exactly were Ashton's op options? Who else was pursuing him? I, we don't know the teams. Maybe he'll tell you. Slip Kid says, primetime predictions for the season. Think we get a half dozen again. Uh, I think we are playing probably five or six primetime games. One of them I think will be in London too. So I don't know if that counts. Kevin writes in, so who gets extended or restructured to make space for Davis? I hope we extend DJ Reed to free up space. I don't, I don't know if they need to do that to resign Ashton. They have cap space. You know, if they need to finagle some money, Quinnen, Quincy, JFM, DJ Reed easily could be restructured. I would extend DJ Reed. I think the Jets aren't going to do that, but I would. Roger says, who are the candidates for hard knocks? Any team that doesn't have a first-year head coach has not made the playoffs within the last three seasons and has never done the show within the last 10 years. You know what team I think is going to do hard knocks? They're going to be forced into it. The Chicago Bears or the Denver Broncos. 
which would be hilarious if they're forced to do it because Sean Payton ran his big fat mouth last year, blasting the Jets for doing hard knocks when they didn't even want to do the show. So I hope it's the Broncos out of spite because I'm a vindictive mother effer. Bijan writes in, cha-ching. Now, Bijan, should we let the cat out of the bag? Because I got a major announcement involving Bijan. Bijan, as you can see in his icon there, is a unbelievably talented musician. He will be performing our national anthem during our Circa Megacast in Las Vegas. We will kick off night one of the draft with a national anthem performance by fellow Asmaniac Bijan, who will get us rolling here. So wait until you guys see his performance, folks. He sent me a video, and I was sold. So Bijan will kick off night one with a performance of our national anthem. Adirondack Fly Guy has just become, it just became a channel member. Free stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dan writes in, Jake, can you break down some Knobel film? Oh, can I ask Andrew to break it down? If Andrew's got time, sure. I'll ask him. I'm happy to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome Cincy Matt to Asmania. Welcome aboard, Cincy Matt. Sneakers to Boot says, next step has to be signed Michael Carter. Please, JD, keep young and proven DBs together. I hope they learn from the Bryce Huff fiasco. Sign Carter now. That's what I would do. I, I think if they do do any extensions, though, it's not till after the draft. Carter's cap it is so low anyway. They're not going to sign. They're not, they're not going to save money on their cap doing it this second. So that could wait till after the draft. Which I think it will. Nick D says, screw Sean Payton. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, it's kind of funny. The, the Jets actually beat Sean Payton last year and. They had 400 yards of offense with Nathaniel Hackett, which was a rarity. Since yeah. Matt says, here for lane content. Look, anytime the lane train calls, you never know what you're going to get. Uh, you never know. Uh, Funky Fresh Frank says, I don't know how I, I don't know how I'm a member, but let's go. Someone gifted you a membership. Will Katana 27, who gifted five memberships earlier, says, Our defense is something words haven't been invented in the dictionary yet. Sauce is already in my Hall of Fame. I mean, I, I what what was it? It was Brian Baldinger who used the term on the show the other day. Uh, a pack of hungry wolves. That's the Jet defense. VR says, I used to shop at Barnes and Knobles. Well, now you should shop at Walmart and Fanatics as they they have teamed up with the Jake Asman Show to give you guys some Jets gear. Check it out in the comment section down below, the description. All the deals are pinned. Matt Bond, he's here with a super chat for us. And Matt says the following, got to know what fake ass man thinks of the resigning. We'll have to check out episode two of the fake ass man show then. Jeremy says, Jake for safety four. Stop it. But I appreciate it, Jeremy. VR says, oh, wow, got to check out Walmart and Fanatics. Yeah, they got some good jet skill, uh, jet skier on sale right now. Morgan writes in, Jake definitely need an offensive lineman at 10, but how do you feel about Brian Thomas Jr. at 10? Looks like a stud receiver, hope all as well. Morgan, shout out to you and our guy Ed Tierney in the office watching the show every day. Uh, I like Brian Thomas Jr. 10's a little too rich for me. I'd rather lineman at that point. If you trade down and take Brian Thomas Jr., I'd love it. I would love that. Funky Fresh says, can Lane do Monday Night Football introductions? For Jet players. Either him or King Lowski should do it, if we're being honest. One of them should do it. All right, but give me the lane train any day of the week and twice on Sunday.
Sneakers the Boot says, when's the senior offensive consultant coming to Florham Park to hold Hackett accountable? Yeah, good luck with that one. I don't think anyone wanted the job. RC says, am I wrong, or is this Bowers to Jets chatter reminiscent of Kyle Hamilton talking 22? I think it's a little different because I think this is way more realistic, whereas Kyle Hamilton being mocked to the Jets in the top five drove me nuts that year, if you remember. And he fell, and he ends up, and it turns out he's a really good player, but you can't take a safety in the top five. Because when it comes time to pay him, are you going to pay him? See Jamal Adams. Uh-oh. We got a Bowers boy in the chat here. Here we go. Private private bowers boy stand up sound the alarms for the bower boys i'll make it very clear i like bowers as a prospect i don't like the value of taking a tight end at 10 but jake he's not a tight end <laughs> he's a tight end guys that's his position that's what he's listed at i'm sorry he is a tight end Slip Kid says, Rodgers will call most of the plays in the huddle. He should. This is Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, all over again. Byron Leftwich got Brady his coffee. Adam Gase got Peyton his. Uh, Nate Hackett's got to get his coffee for Aaron. That's how this works. And that's okay. I'll kiss Nate Hackett's bald head if the Jets are good this year. I don't care. I have no shame. Nick says, Trade back and take Bowers is a good move. If they trade back and take him, I love it. I'm, I am fully on board with that. Shadow Realm says, Bowers is the tightest of tight ends. Nice. Sergeant says, weapon at 10 is ideal. In JD, we trust. I do trust him. Sneakers to boots. Half of Bauer plays are behind the line of scrimmage. He's a gadget guy, not a tight end. He's listed as a tight end. I don't think his success behind the line of scrimmage will translate to a Nate Hackett offense right away. I don't see it. Joey says, Jake, I love the Bengals slash Jets trade down scenario you mentioned earlier from 10 to 18 and a second rounder because then Brian Thomas Jr. is in play and Patrick Paul in the second. Yeah, it, I saw me up. Nick Faria suggested that trade that we broke down in the monologue for the first show. First State Jets says, wide receiver and offensive tackle in the draft, this team in more ways than Bowers does. That does improve the team in more ways than Bowers. I agree. Unless Bowers comes in and he's Travis Kelsey in year one, which I doubt. I, I agree. Add a run deck fly guy. There's no need to, to draft Bowers unless you're letting Conklin go. Conklin's a pretty decent tight end. Yeah, with no quarterback play, Tyler Conklin's top 10 the last two years in the NFL in yards and receptions. I think he's pretty good. I think Rutgers got talent, and I'd like to see it through and use pick 10 on a different player than Bowers. Now, if you trade down and get extra picks and you take Bowers, all right, you can put Bowers and Conklin on the field at the same time, and then Bowers is basically replacing Alan Lazard's role in the slot and you could line up Garrett Wilson all over the place. I, I see the appeal. I just don't like it at 10. I understand the Bauer boys are loud, but I'm not, I'm not there. Jeremy says, gadget guys are great, but at 10, please. I agree, man. Jet Jets drafting tight ends in the first round is not a good history I want to rely on here. And then you factor in, how about drafting a tight end in the first round ever or since 2011? Edward says, I'd love a membership. I'd love to date Margot Robbie. Are we just saying things we want, Edward? I'm just messing with it. You could, you could sign up by hitting the join button or maybe someone will be nice enough to gift you one. First day Jet says we don't love Jason Morrow anymore. He's not even he wasn't even a first round pick. The last tight end the Jets took in the first round was Dustin Keller. Good pick. Injuries ruined his career, but he was a late one. 
If you can get Bowers at 30, yeah, I'll take him there. 2000, they took Anthony Beck, pick 27. Kyle Brady, I, I, I like, I like it chills even saying his name, pick nine and 95. Johnny Mitchell, pick 15 and 92. I mean, Jerome Barkham. Go, all right, let's go back to 1972, Jet fans. Pick nine, Jerome Barkham. Last time the Jets had any sort of modicum success taking the tight end that high. The Jets took Kyle Brady over Warren Sapp. They're going to take they're going to take Brock Bowers over who this time? Patano, Olu, Falaga. No, thank you. Adirondack says, Amaro was amazing in college. One of the best ever. How'd that turn out? Amaro went to Texas Tech or a and I think it was Tech. And he, and he sucked. Italian Eddie says, two weeks till draft night. Oh, yeah. Two weeks from tonight, we get ready to party in Vegas all together. Can't wait. You know, the, the question for the Jets, though, is this. Who's announcing the first-round pick this year? Is it just going to be Goodell, or do they have someone doing it again? Yeah, that, That's something I'd like to know. No one's told me that. I have one suggestion. On the 2022 draft pick, <laughs> the pick goes to Knoble <laughs> out of college. Yeah! One man should announce the pick this year. And that one man is Lane Kerner. Kenneth says, who's the best tight end the Jets have ever had? Probably Mickey Schuler. I mean, has to be. Big fella says, Jake should be announced in the first round pick this year. No, King Lowski should be announced in the pick. How about that? That would be fun. Ladies and gentlemen, a $10 Super Chat has just come down through the pipeline, and it comes courtesy of our man, Ron Weiss. Jake, I'm a Bowers boy that sent the Super Chat. I deserve money and the Bowers siren. Take care of my man. All right, you want the Bowers siren? Hold on. Just for you, Bower boy. Nick D says, college is my favorite school. Pittsburgh Mike says, dude, seriously, where's that lane clip from? I guess you didn't watch the show the other day. Now, to be fair, I recognize this is my full-time job, and all of you people, most of you probably besides like Hawk, have lives. So you can't watch every second of every show. But if you missed it the other day, Lane Kerner gave us one of the greatest phone calls. I would say, not even in the history of like this show, I would say in the now, three-year history of doing Jet content every day. I would say there's never been a call that has impacted more lives than this one that we got just three days ago. You guys know when the Lane Train calls in, this show could go anywhere, so buckle up. What's up, Lane Kerner? Zach Wilson is not going to come back. Why don't you think he's going to sign still with the Jets? Is it because he's not good? He stinks! Oh, stinks? Yeah, same feeling. The guy is terrible! I said announce the draft picks. Lane, I want you to announce a Jets pick. That would make my that would make my yeah. life. I mean, who am I gonna pick though for the draft? Uh on the twenty twenty two draft pick, <laughs> the pick goes to Knoble <laughs> out of college. Yeah! Then they tell you who the players are from and their families get excited. You sign him, it's going to, he he's to be good going into week one. Yeah, I know a lot of the football. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I love you, Lane. You're the best. What, what a draft pick. Lane, you are a national treasure. I mean, <laughs> too funny. Love Lane Train. I'll ride on the Lane Train any day of the week. Dorian has gifted the gift of membership.
Kareem Mitchell, congratulations. Dorian just made you a made man. You are now officially an Asmaniac. All right, back to the calls we go. Gus Buster Hotline. Once again, we're live at 3 Eastern again today. Film review. Why the Jets need to draft Roma Dunze. Callie Jet fan, you're up next. What's up, Callie? Hey, hey Jake, uh, when does uh, Buffalo Jet fan co- uh, come in? Usually on Wednesdays, but he, he couldn't make it yesterday, so next yeah. Wednesday he'll be back on the show. I, um, he's uh, he made a I'm a I'm a receiver I'm a receiver I'm a second degree uh against Bauer boy <laughs> uh, I, got, I got receiver and then uh, Bowers and then all that that's just, that's just me I got receiver first but he made a he made a video yesterday about Brock Bowers and I don't know it's pretty convincing that's what I was gonna say you guys have to go a little back and forth because you should you should see that video it's pretty it's pretty good I know he, I he he's starting to go full Bauer boy Cali Jeff and I, look I like him as a prospect I just don't like the Jets being the team to take him a ten. So someone someone earlier was like, I wouldn't even take him if they trade back to 18. I'm like, are you nuts? I would take Bowers at 18 if I got a second. My whole point is I need to keep Aaron Rodgers upright. So I want to take an offensive lineman unless I can get one of the big three receivers. Because then I just think the talent is too good to pass up and you have to sign McGovern. You have to sign Bakhtiari and just hope you get a little lucky there and we go from there. Now, it pains me to do this, but we got to give credit where credit is due. So Dorian gifted a membership because yesterday Hawk used blood money to gift him one, so he paid it back. He paid it forward. Well done. Quest says, hit the like button. Best Jets content by far. Very nice of you, Quest. Thank you. I appreciate that. As the show continues to grow, we got more cool partnerships coming with Fanatics and now Walmart, which we just announced. Check out the pinned jet gear down below. Six products are pinned right now. I got a Brees jersey on sale, a Rogers jersey on sale, Aaron Rodgers uh, jet themed t-shirt on sale, Nike jet shirts on sale, and it's all on sale because the new logos are coming, so take advantage. Because some of the stuff I put down there just says NYJ on it. It so it's, doesn't matter if they have an updated logo or not. And let's be real, the updated logo is a throwback logo, so it's all kind of Simpatico, all runs together. Sears says, I'd rather win a Jake Asman membership than the Mega Millions. Well, I, although I do appreciate it, Sears, I would say this. If you rather win a $5 membership to become an Asmaniac over the Mega Millions, you leave me no choice but to do this. If the Jets get the good fortune of all being there at 10, if they don't take them, they should be shot. I had to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, sound the alarms. Because guess who has just gifted five memberships for members of the Jake Asman audience? Shadow Realm. Zachary Burner, Ferris Grimm, The Last Letter, James Feastel, and Eric B. from Connecticut. Thank your Lord and Savior, Shadow Realm. He has just gifted you five memberships to be an Asmaniac. Congratulations. The Shadow Realm has spoken. Jeremy says, never make. I, I guess you're not worthy, Jeremy. You didn't tell Jeff Obrick you love him enough. I don't know. The only thing I can think of. Uh, Dan says, Jake, I heard someone say the other day that if the Jets do not take Knoebel, they should be shot. Thoughts? I, I agree. I agree with that. Uh, Knoebel's can't miss. All right. He's Brock Bowers, Joe Alt. Marvin Harrison Jr. combined. Hawk writes in, I heard Zach starring alongside Leo DiCaprio in Blood Diamond 2. Did you think this was a good one? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Ladies and gentlemen, another membership has just been gifted, baby. Oh, yeah. 
Adirondack Fly Guy has gifted a membership to Ryan Syed. Ryan's an awesome listener of the show, so that's a great person that got your membership, Adirondack. Nicely done. VR writes in, you heard of Bowers, boys? <laughs> I'm a Kenoble king. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it might be considered blood money, but we have to respect the move by Alan here. Five memberships have just been gifted. <laughs> Boom. Courtesy of Alan, who gifted the following memberships to Daniel Yanez. Joseph Freeman, Dakota J, Kara Yip, and Joel Eidelberg. Let's go Islanders, Joel. I always see you writing about the Islanders in there. Love that. Alan, there you go. One of your memberships went to a diehard Islander fan, so that will make you happy. Nice job, Alan. Appreciate that. Up to 20 new members and counting, baby. Alan loves the Aston Davis signing. There we go. That's Alan's rule. When the Jets make a good movie, he's got to gift memberships. Your boy, you know, says can't wait till the regular season ends and we can point to Conk having just as good, if not a better year than Bowers. Pretty much. I, I don't think that's crazy at all. I think Tyler Conklin is criminally underrated by this fan base. Adam, using his free super chat for being an Asmaniac, writes in, O-line depth matters this year and next year, so let's get two and a deep draft class. Our first two picks in 2006 did well for us for a decade, just saying. There's nothing wrong with doubling up on offensive line. In my mind, I don't think they would double up, though. I think they'll go receiver and then lineman or lineman, then receiver first two picks. Now, this is the same franchise that took McDonald out of nowhere last year, but I think it's that was different circumstances. Um, let's see. You know, it's so funny. I, I'm like, let me pop on, do a quick 20 minutes on Ashton Davis because we got another show at three. Here we are 47 minutes later because this audience is amazing. It is April 11th. And we got thousands of people that are tuning in every day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I mean. Felix Campos, he says, sound the alarms. The following members. Just became as maniacs, courtesy of Felix. Shout out to Xavier Poe, Braden Lambert, Jennergy, part of our 4% female demographic, Milk Money, and J Man. Well done, Felix. Well done, my man. Motivated T says Ashton Davis always picks off Tua. You're thinking of Brandon Eccles. Kareem says, is Becton still on the team? Borderline stupid town comment, Kareem. No, he's a free agent. Rover, can you do a special Knicks episode? Come playoff time, yes. I plan to be at the Garden for as many playoff games as I can. Steven says, hit the like button, people. Um... Joey says, by the way, Ben Sinnott might be the best tight end in the entire draft, so Bowers doesn't make sense in the first round. I wouldn't go that far, but I do like him. I, I am a fan of his game. VR says, bing bong Knicks. That's right. Yankees have the day off tonight, so my focus tonight is on the Islanders and the New York Knicks. We'll be locked in. Be ready to roll here, folks. F the Celtics, says Rich. Yep. Ohio Jets says players at a college are notorious for becoming stars in the NFL. <laughs> Nobody a bigger star than that Canoble guy. Gator writes in, what will happen first? Zach Wilson leading an NFL team to a Super Bowl victory or Ricky New York being gifted a membership? I, I Honestly, it's probably Zach Wilson. Because Ricky doesn't seem to know how to turn on the receive gift button settings button. Jets Chaos says, I interviewed Senate in Mobile, Alabama. Did you tell him you love him? 
Adam is too cool, says, got to think Bakhtiari Dobbins post draft signing is better in depth. I agree. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Will, William, Bill, Amley. Hello, Bill. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's go to <laughs> Will. Oh. I'm going to come back to you, Bill. Turn down the TV because the delay is going to throw you off. King Lowski says, why are the Knicks favorite tonight? Shocking. I think because the Celtics have kind of punted on the regular season here. They're playing for nothing. I think Tatum and Brown might not play either, so that's probably why. The game means much more for the Knicks. Knicks probably win tonight. They should win tonight anyway. Salam has wrote in. Ashton would be the last man standing from the 2020 draft class. I know. Very few Jets actually make, make it to second contracts. Ron Weiss writes in, give me the Bauer siren backed up by Dice, Clay, money, money, money. All right, I am a capitalist, Ron. <laughs> Just for you. Money, 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 money. There you go. I mean, I moved to New York, man. My expenses are up, I, you know. Gotta do what I gotta do around here. Felix writes in with a super chat. Man, I'm so ready for the season. If we stay healthy, watch out. I'm loving the moves we have done these this offseason. Yeah, me too. I mean, look, health is the biggest thing for every NFL team. I recognize that, but I'm at, I'm at a point now where I'm tired of saying if healthy. We understand that. That's every NFL team. You tell me Aaron Rodgers is healthy, I'll deal with the other injuries that come along the way. You can't win without a quarterback. Bill, up next. Hello, Bill. Hey, I'm sorry about earlier. I went on a different tab to shut off the video, and then I forgot to come back to this tab. And I'm like, wait a minute. What's what's going on? You're good, um, Bill. Don't worry. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm glad that uh, Ashton uh, re-signed with uh, the Jets. Uh, definitely a, a great asset to the special team. So I'm very happy that he's back. Um I wanted to ask you, I did notice before you ended up revealing it uh, about Charles's uh, call in the previous uh, video where he was chewing his uh, life away. And I thought to myself that that li did look funny because of his, part of the video was looping and then you revealed that it was uh, yeah. a hoax. But my question is, is that a Gator special? Or did Charles actually work with you guys to do that? Uh, Char Char Charles doesn't work with us on anything. That's oh, anything. okay. I just wanted to know. Now, I do work with Gator on this stuff, though. Last night, I did see a video of Charles on his own YouTube channel giving a Yankees recap where he proceeded to just chew the entire time. Okay. All right. All right now it makes sense how you got that. I was wondering how you got that. So I sent it to Gator, and I said, here you go. And I knew what was coming. Because <laughs> I would... I was about to come on and say, by the way, Charles, something to drink down your uh, sandwich, you know? <laughs> Bill, we doing a shot? I don't, you know, it's it's five o'clock somewhere, Bill. You ready? <laughs> no, no, no. No? <laughs> no, I don't drink hard liquor by itself. Never. All right. Never. Well, Bill, next time you call in, you have a cocktail ready, all right? I'd rather, what is it? I'd rather be under control than under the table. It's well said, Bill. Well said. Cheers to you. I'll, I'll drink it on your behalf. Jets got Ashton Davis back. That calls for something. Ah. Love it. Ladies and gentlemen, Harry W. just became an Asmaniac. Harry, let's hit the sound. Welcome aboard. Quick writes in, nobody gifted me a membership yet. You know you could buy one, you cheap ass. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Turn make sure you have uh make sure you have gift settings turned on. It's all randomly assigned. Like the video, people. It's based on who comments, who likes the video, watch time. It's supposed to go to the most loyal viewers of the show. Big fella says. How many subs until 37k? Great question. I can tell you right now. Uh, let's see. 
Hold on. Internet a little slow right now. We are currently, folks, because of you, the best fans in sports, under... Wow, we're... Okay, so I'm bad at math, but we're 89 subscribers away from from 37,000. Unreal. We were just at 36 at the combine. We're growing, man. Rich says, hit the like. He's right. Joey R says, what were the terms of the Ashton Davis deal? Not out yet. I'm guessing a one-year deal. At most, two years with an out after one because he's going to want to retest the market. Dan says, we need to get Jake a jet shot glass so we can actually see if he's drinking the Henny. Are you questioning my Henny drinking skills, Dan? Shame on you. Ugh. Sorry for that gross sound effect, people, but Dan's calling me out. Had to make it clear that there was Hennessy in my mouth. Ugh. Come on, Dan. You're better than that. You're better than that, Dan. J-Quest, you should replace Tiki on the fan. I don't know if FAN's got room for two redheads. Although I do love Evan Roberts, man. One of the I, when I worked at FAN, he was by far and away one of the coolest people I met. So, oh, I, I mean, my friends growing up would tease me and call me Evan Roberts because I wanted to be a sports talk show host. So, shout out to Evan. Speaking of Evan, Joe B. Let's just say it's in the works to have the return of Joe Beningo on the program. Let's just say it could be coming soon. Um, Big Haas says, hold on. Get Justin Simmons in on a one-year deal. We'll have the best secondary in the league. Uh, I don't think they're going to sign him. I could be wrong. I don't see the Jets making that move. Okay, Kuka Lake Jet fan. So safety in the first four rounds probably out of the question with Davis returning less of a need. I still think in the fourth round, safety's in play at that point if it's the best player on their board. It's less likely, yes, but not out of the question completely. Last chance to get in here. We're on again in two hours, so don't worry. Um... Mr. J. Biz writes in, when I subscribed to this channel, it had less than 7,000. The growth's incredible. Love it. J. Biz, you are incredible, my man. I, ho I hope you don't mind me sharing this story, but J. Biz came up with the genius idea of making Hawk as a way to pay off his bounty. Have to give 25 total memberships in honor of the 25 memberships or 25 interceptions that Zach Wilson has thrown as a Jet. So J. Biz reached out to me. And he came up with the idea. I said, that's genius. I offered to pay, and I sent him money for the first three months of Patreon for free. So he signed up earlier. But Jay Biz found out that he uh, was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. And he's had five surgeries, eight procedures since then. This is since January. And he has been in chemo. And he wrote to me, I refuse to die before I see the Jets in a Super Bowl. Been a long 42 years of fandom, but just wanted you to know your show is more, more than entertainment to some of us. Keep up the good work. And I like almost broke down in tears reading that message. So, Mr. J Biz, you are incredible, my man. We're all supporting you. You're a fighter. And how do we not have him as an Asmaniac yet? So, prayers to you, my man, and your family. And we're all supporting you, man. Keep fighting. And we'll be at that Super Bowl parade together, hopefully in uh, February of 2025. So shout out to Mr. J Biz. What a what an unbelievable note. Unreal. Best listeners, man. The best. J Biz. Thank you, brother. You're the man, J Biz. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Dan says Joe Douglas for president. I like Joe Douglas. Can we win games in the regular season? When you lose, you're a loser. I suck. Joe D sucks. We all suck. But all you guys only think Salah sucks. No, it, it's not just him. It, Joe Douglas is connected to Robert Salah. That's now win. They have the team. Let's now win, baby. Let's go, Joe. <laughs> Come 
Come on, man. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. What a program. What a program. Let's give some love to another great sponsor on the show. That's Huga House. If you want the hat Aaron Rodgers is always rocking, make sure you head over to HugaHouse.com and at checkout, use promo code ASBIN. And for a limited time, when you buy one hat with my promo code, you get the second hat 30% off. So you can really get two hats at a significant discount when you go to Huga House's website and use that promo code. So check it out. Last chance to get in here. Um, Andrew says, Rogers is going to lead us to a Lombardi in 2024. Ah, I can't wait, man. That's the correct answer. Ron says, my new name is Jake Soundboard. Hold on. You want to you be called Jake Soundboard? Where's my laugh track? Eventually, I'm going to have a, a, a piece of equipment here on my little desk thing. By the way, how sweet is my new desk setup here? That's right. We upgraded everything. It's all happening. We got the little monitor. I mean, things are happening here, folks. Got my Jets uh, koozie there. All right. We got, the, we, got, we, we got the setup of all setups. We got, I mean, we'll give you a little taste. We got the TVs over there, so we're watching games at all times. I mean, but anyway, eventually I will have a specific soundboard like that I could press a button, so I don't need to like find it on StreamYard. But anyway, what was I doing? Oh, I was finding the laugh track. <laughs> uh, all right, last chance to get in here. Let's see. Allen says, if the, dra if the Jets draft an Iowa Hawkeye, 20 memberships, four Hawkeyes set to be picked this year. 20 memberships if they take a guy from Iowa. All right. I hope they draft someone from Iowa. And if he's great, I'll be happy. But if he sucks, I'll never let uh, I'll never let you hear the end of it. So that'll be good. Rat Diddy says, Jake, how are the neighbors on the floor? I, I actually I haven't met them, honestly. I haven't met anyone yet. It's been weird. I don't know anyone yet. It's crazy. Adirondack says, Who fired the legendary great coach Gase? Wasn't it JD or was that Chris Johnson? Well, I mean, it was Joe Douglas, right? Woody was back at that point. You know, it's amazing Adam Gase didn't work out because us Jet fans, we're dopes, and he's a great coach. And Jet fans are clueless. I mean, they're dopes. They don't know anything. This is a really good hire. Gase is a great coach. Gase is a great coach. Okay, Adam Gase is Kyle Shanahan before Kyle Shanahan. Gase is a great coach. I, I'm amazed it didn't work if Colin Coward said he's such a great coach. Uh, VR says, Jake, I miss Chloe. Me too, but don't worry. My mom is bringing Chloe to, the, to tour the apartment on Saturday, VR. So maybe if I'm live on Saturday, we'll get a Chloe show. A Chloe cameo. Orb says, whatever happened to Chloe? Chloe, Chloe is the family dog. I don't live with Chloe. My mom would never let me. Um... Let's see. Dan says Adam Gase is Kyle Shanahan before Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. He ain't wrong. M. Durrett says guys like Colin should lose their talk shows with takes like that. No, come on. Let's give Colin the benefit of the doubt. He, he's never been wrong about anything before. There's a lot of concern about Alabama's running back Derrick Henry in the NFL. I wouldn't touch him. I, I would never touch these running backs for Alabama. Yeah, I mean, he, he's never been wrong before. You got to give him a break. That's why Colin just dumping on Rodgers every step of the way is a good thing long term because he's always wrong. Let the hate flow through you. Pittsburgh Mike is using his super chat for being an Asmaniac for the month. And he says, play me a Bruce Hall to end this phenomenal show. Bruce Hall. I love it. Shout out to the lane train. Shout out to the lane train. 
On that note, that will end the show. We're back in two hours. Film review, Roma Dunze to the Jets. Why the Jets should make it happen if they can. We'll talk about that and much more with the great Andrew Fialco, who just left his uh, seventh period social studies class to get ready to come on with us uh, this afternoon. Anyway, I appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for the support. Jet fans, you guys are amazing. Please hit the like button on your way out of here. It goes a long way towards the show continuing to grow. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Excuse me, miss. I need to return this damn child. He's no good. Sometimes a child just is no good. Take his one back.